Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. Today we have Bruno Barron with us, and over the break we were discussing the state of Illinois has not been paying into these pensions. They haven't been doing their share, and that's why this problem is. Isn't that not correct, Bruno? Well, first of all, that's one of the things that the unions use when they're making excuses about the pension system and how the pension system can't be changed. They say the state didn't pay in. They took a, a long series of pension holidays uh, where it was supposed to pay into the pension system. Um, there's research, and I can't cite exactly where it is, but I know that uh, Tom Cross's office is using this, and I know that the House Republican Organization has some research on this. If the state had paid every dime that it was supposed to pay into the system, um, it still would only solve about half the problem. So maybe they would be less underfunded. They would have had different. They would have had more money in there for investments. There would be a lower level of underfunding but they would still be underfunded. And the reason for that is that it, it's, not the, it's not the person who's getting a $20,000 or a thirty dollars or $50,000 pension who worked for 25 or 30 years that, that's hurting the system. That's not killing the system. What's killing the system are the pension abuses, the pension spiking, the mm -hmm. double dipping, um, the, the being able to add sick days into your pension calculation so that you can take banked sick days of over 100 or 200 sick days and have that amp up your, your pension benefit. This is where the two hundred and three hundred thousand dollar pensions are coming from. And and just imagine one and greedy at age fifty five. And age fifty five. So one greedy union boss who works for a half a day as a public employee to automatically ramp up all of his pension systems from the state system, which is what uh, was discovered with a lot of these laws and the Tribune wrote about it, that person, he's not just uh, uh, abusing and molesting the Illinois taxpayer, he's abusing and molesting the poorer pensioners, the ones who are only getting twenty, thirty, and forty thousand dollar pensions. It's an obscene abuse. Let's, uh, so the uh, union uh, bosses he, are actually hurting their people. Well, listen, absolutely. Uh, you're to a good point in this abuse of the regular teachers. Uh, we'll get into a little later in this program, but um, uh, the, the fact of the matter is that uh, uh, the uh, teachers. Uh, uh, thing was enshrined in 1970 into the uh, Constitution. Mm -hmm. If we were doing what was enshrined into the Constitution in 1970, we would have a surplus now. In 1995, these excesses you're talking about got to be so bad that they could no longer pay the pensions locally, like the firemen and everybody else are, are doing. Mm -hmm. Those are local pensions. So in 95, with this IEA and, and the political connection it's got with Madigan and his ilk, uh, those guys shifted the payment of that to the state. Mm -hmm. And uh, in all those years since, uh, they've been accused of not uh, making the proper payments, but they have made them. And if you go into a study of Zettler, who we're publishing Zettler's book mm -hmm. on, on the pension, but anybody can go to Champion News and find Zettler's articles. There's over a hundred of them in there about the salaries and pensions on championnews.net. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you'll, you'll find in there is that uh, with Zettler's analysis, they have paid all of the things they should be paid and more, and they've been exploiting it. Nobody could catch up with what the union has, has done in expanding this thing. Right. With all the chicanery you mentioned, you're absolutely right. Uh, that's the cause. It is the runaway inflation of this by these crazy politicians. And the biggest, craziest politician in the whole state is Mike Madigan. Uh, yep. this, uh, this guy has, has run the legislature down there. He's the biggest force there is. Well, and, and, uh, you're, you're, this is a runaway political ploy between the union that has poured all this money into Mike Madigan and his daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it, it, I, I think uh, you probably have things to say, and I, I'll get back to it about the Constitution and how it really doesn't apply to this thing. Okay. Well, you know, I, back in October of 2011, mm -hmm. they had those two union lobbyists right. that just spiked the 100000 per year state pensions. That's right. hurting the little guy. And, well, and it, it, all of this stuff does. Uh, <clears throat> it, um, school superintendents, they, if they have bank sick days that goes into their pension calculations, if they, uh, let's say there's a superintendent and his wife works in the private sector, so he's on his wife's insurance. He basically gets a cash 
payout for what he would have paid in insurance. That gets put into their pension calculation. Their salary gets put in their pension calculation. Then they retire. Um, some go and retire and go and teach in California, and they earn $250,000, $300,000 in California while they're sucking down $250,000 of a retirement pension while they're still working. So there's a whole bunch of little laws, and we, we have to get into the actual laws that need to be passed, because it's, it's one thing... this is on the taxpayer dollar. Nobody... Well, it, be, be, well and it, it's, an, it's out of the taxpayer... It's on the taxpayer dollar, but it's also directly out of the pension fund. So you've got a pension fund that's at you know 45% or 39% or 50% funded here in Illinois, depending on which fund you're talking about. Which is the worst in the nation. Worst in the worst nation. Worst in the nation. Worse and, than and, California. And, and then you've got this guy worse taking, than California. And then you in got, the depth of it, it isn't as white quite as wide. Yeah. But it but, qualifies us as the worst in the nation. And so Thank you, Mr. Doing? Madigan. They're pulling, so this guy in California, for example, and there's hundreds like him, or tens, or hundreds is, is, is easy. This guy's pulling three hundred thousand dollars a year out of a pension fund that's forty-five percent underfunded. That's damaging the, the that's damaging the financial security and the financial rights of all the other pensioners in the system. So here's what you do: you pass a law that simply says, uh, if you continue working, and you define working as anything, I would define working as as more than fifteen thousand dollars a year. What about it, these part-time teachers? Um, you know, if if you if you're working, you don't get your pension. How about that as a simple rule? If you're working, I don't care if you're working for one day, here's another scam that we all know about. They retire, these, these superintendents retire, and then they have this fake little game that they call uh, 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 executive recruitment, and they, they start earning fifteen and $20,000 contracts or $10,000 contracts to play the musical chairs of all these superintendents running from district to district, uh, getting uh, changing jobs so that retired superintendents can rip the taxpayers off for $10,000 and $20,000 at a pop. It just, just, it's a real simple law. To retire, you got to retire. If you earn any money, you don't get your pension. And if, and if Even there's... Even if I was to go work at uh, the Pancake House or yeah. Home Depot? If you were at the Pancake House or Home Depot, you don't get your pension. You want your pension, quit working. There's, there's, this abuse is immense. Uh, you got to realize we got 870 school districts with a superintendent and, and uh, another assistant superintendent of finance. Yeah. And you got the, the uh, principals of the various schools. Uh, and so this whole system of these people at the top are the ones that have exploited it. And down at the bottom end are the teachers who are getting really magnificently huge pensions, uh, you know, three or four times what we get under uh, Social Security. But the ones at the top are getting these fantastic uh, big uh, pensions. So what happens, here's Mr. Whatever, uh, like the last one that went out of District 300, he's getting a salary, got a salary of about 200000 It got jacked up in mm -hmm. the last three years, mm -hmm. the abuses Spite. you're talking about. So he retires at age 55, and he goes marching down. He never did any heavy lifting, and this guy's going to live another 30 or 40 years and get this pension that goes up 3% a year, which the Constitution, when it went in in 1970, guaranteed him only 1.5% one and, one and, and not compounded. Right. Mm. So the 3% compounded, uh, you know, in 30 years, that'll double uh, a 200,000 pension to 400,000. So uh, rule yeah. of 72. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, this, they've got this guy uh, marching off. He starts with another $230,000 pension. And uh, so it goes on increasing. And uh, about uh, six years behind him, there'll be the next superintendent from that same district uh, well, 55, he retires. So you got a parade of these guys, probably six or seven yeah. of them, from one job. Then until the day these guys finally die out of the right. system when and they're 85 or 9. Life expectancy well, yeah. is so which, much older. Which, which, you've got a parade of guys. Which, right. which brings another really which brings another you got really a parade of law. guys coming off of one position. you got about seven of them that are on the rolls of the pension thing because they've retired so early and they're going to live so damn long. Yeah. Making two to $400,000 a year. Yeah, and now how much would the average... And you got person. 870 districts like that. You got the assistant, and you got the principals, and all the rest of and them. And all the teachers. And, 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 and so the, the, the very top end of the folks uh, are, are just they're literally destroying the system for the rest of them. If I was to make $200,000 a year as a, as a 
person, how much would I need invested in my investments like IRAs and, and stocks and things? What type of number would that be? 10, well, $20 million dollars to get that type of? Well, you would need, actually, what, you, what, what a lot of these people are doing, and this is just simply taking your income, and if you make a certain amount in your pension, you just discount it at a certain rate. These people are these people are retiring millionaires. That's so mm -hmm. you have to have one or two million dollars. Go to in the bank. Zettler in our system. Zettler has got it He's, all. He, he does. At He's Champion the whole News. thing. He's Net. analyzed it. Look at ChampionNews.net. Look at Bill Zettler's articles.